bleeds, we can kill it. Well, it's not that dramatic, but in what could be considered a classic case of she swallowed the spider to catch the fly, DEC and Cornell University researchers set out in the woods of the Zor Valley today as part of their hemlock initiative to release 1,700 of these Laracobius beetles. We call it Little Larry for short. Their quarry? These buggers, the invasive hemlock woolly adelgid. Native to Asia, these aphid-like insects attack North American hemlocks, feeding at the base of the needle. And then this causes a slow decline of the trees over the years and actually uh, leads to the eventual mortality of eastern hemlock here on the, on the east coast. This conifer is critical in providing winter cover to birds and animals and protection against rapid snow melt in the spring. So when we lose the hemlock ecosystem, we're losing those different services that the tree provides not just to people but to all of that wildlife as well. The target is small, only about as thick as a grain of rice, and though often hard to see, they leave a white woolly mass on the underside of branches at the base of the needles. And the beetles released today find them to be scrumptious. We'll de deploy these kind of uh, in the forest, and then the beetles will, you know, later today, uh, go ahead and start eating adelgids. Which have been slowly making their way to our parts since first being observed in 1951 in Virginia. After an accidental introduction from Japan, in fact, we began hearing warnings about their potential impact during an episode of WGRZ's To the Outdoors that aired some nine years ago. We could look within 10 years, 20 years, uh, loss of a very large portion of the hemlocks in this area. There are places of, of New York and the Northeast that are uninfested, but it is uh, spreading northward uh, into, into colder parts of New York and also getting into Canada. How important is the hemlock? Well, beyond what we've already told you, it is also the fourth most common tree in New York State, so you can imagine the impact there if they were lost. On your side in the studio, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.